Hi, today I'm going to be doing my makeup with you on camera and trying some new products from Bobbi Brown which I'm very very excited to share with you and show you the results. Excuse the bare tired face, I have a four month old who is teething and I haven't slept in a very very long time so I'm looking extremely tired and hopefully some of these products will help make me look a little bit more human. So yeah, I'll just get on with showing you the products. The main products that I'm going to be testing today and showing you the results are the new Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Corrector and the Intensive Skin Serum Concealers. I love the Bobbi Brown Crest on the lid there. I think it just looks really, really pretty. And this is the corrector. The shade that I have is Peach Bisque number 16. And this is a shade that matches sort of all over my face to even out the skin tone and it comes with a little doe for applicator which is really really handy. Um, the concealer is pretty much the same but I will show you everything in due time. Let's start by moisturising this face and then I can get on with showing you the rest of the makeup. It's extremely important to moisturise your face before putting on any makeup, especially if you haven't been sleeping well like I haven't because my skin tends to look even more dry and tired when I don't sleep well. I'm going to start with the Intensive Skin Serum Corrector which is meant to neutralise any discoloration and I have plenty of discoloration underneath my eyes. Um, all the sleepless nights and I also have a tendency for pigmentation. If you have any brown or grey discoloration make sure to choose a peach shade and if you have blue or purple choose a bisque shade. So I'm going to start by applying this on one eye so you can see the difference between one and the other eye. And I have my little mirror here with me and I'm going to be very very generous with it. And because this is a hybrid between, hybrid between skincare and makeup this will also treat your under eye area the more you use it. It's not just going to conceal it right now, um, it will help over time make your eye look less tired, less puffy, which is great and especially because I'm approaching my 30s I am more and more aware of my skincare. So I'm just going to blend that in with my fingers and just sort of bring it down and as you can see it already hides the darkness, not hides, but evens out the darkness under my eyes, which is great. And taking it all the way to the side. And the more you blend, the better it will look. So you can see the difference there. The dark circles are very neutralized against my complexion. And over here, they're very, very evident, as you can see, especially on the inner corner there, and not evident at all here. So that is really, really good and it's a nice colour match for my skin as well. It sort of makes everything look even. I'm also going to put some on the top of my lid because I have some discoloration there as well. Just pop some there. You can check out my blog if you want a very in-depth review of these products. And I also have before and after pictures there and all the details about the formulation, what's in these concealers, why they're so amazing. I always find that I, I have to see both reviews when I'm buying a new product. I have to see it on camera but I also have to read an in-depth review of it. So that is the one eye with corrector and the one without. So you can clearly see the difference there, the one eye corrected and the other eye just looking very sorry for itself. Now I'm going to move on to the concealer and the shade I'm using is number 5 Sand for my under eyes and I also have number 6 Beige but I'm going to use that on blemishes on my skin and but for my under eyes I like something a little bit more brightening and that's what it looks like. I'm just going to swatch it on my hand. So that's Beige and that's Sand and whilst I'm here I'm also going to swatch the corrector. So that's Peach Bisque that sand and that is beige. For the concealer I'm going to apply it on the under eye area and also bring it down in a triangle on my cheek area to highlight the entire area down here. And for this I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Touch Up Brush which is also a brand new brush for the whole line and I'm going to use this end here, the small end um, for the concealer. So I'm just going to gently blend it like this and you can see how easy it is to blend these products either with a brush or with your fingers. Very versatile 
and they don't look cakey on the skin which is amazing they are very very moisturizing and nourishing this is exactly what I need for my under eye area I don't want anything that's too drying but they also dry quite matte so there's no sort of like looking glowy on the under eye area which is not something that anyone wants um, as you can see there this eye just looks so much brighter compared to this one with the concealer and especially when you blend it on the areas around the face as well so I'm looking a lot more human on this side can you see how much brighter and just perfected this eye looks compared to this one it's just evident so that's the eye with the corrector and the concealer and the bare eye I'm gonna build up the coverage after I do my foundation so I'm just gonna finish this eye first and then move on to foundation That looks a lot different than what you saw at the beginning of this video. There are no dark circles in sight. Both eyes look very, very nice and brightened. And you can see it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look obvious, it looks really natural, just flawless, but very, very natural looking. It still feels quite nourishing, it doesn't feel like a paste. You can see that there is makeup there, but it's not obvious if you know what I mean. So if you like the way that this looks, I would highly recommend getting yourself matched on a Bobbi Brown counter, just because getting the wrong shade of concealer is a big waste of money and you do not want to waste money. Bobbi Brown offers complimentary makeup lessons. So if you go to one of their counters, they will match you with your correct shade of concealer and corrector. And they will also show you how to apply the products, which is amazing. Now let's do the rest of the face. I'm gonna move on to foundation. I'm gonna be using the Intensive Skin Serum Foundation SPF 40 and this comes with a little dropper applicator which makes it easy. It has the same premise as the concealer and the corrector from the same hybrid between makeup and skincare. You can apply it with the other side of the new dual ended full coverage face touch up brush. So I'm just going to pop some on my finger and dot it all over my face, on my forehead, on my nose and on my cheeks. So with the other side of the brush I'm just going to blend it all in and this brush is really nice and soft so it applies foundation really well. I'm starting with a very light layer and then building up the coverage as I go along. I'm going to use the concealer in number six I think. Yeah beige number six just to touch up some of the blemishes that I have on my chin. And then I'm going to go over again with the concealer in sand number five and apply some more underneath my eyes. So that's the skin finished and my skin just looks so glowy and natural but it doesn't look shiny at all and I can't stop looking at my under eyes because they look like I've had about 12 hours sleep last night and I definitely did not. I'm going to apply some of the Bobbi Brown Brightening Brick um, Illuminating Powder in the shade, what's the shade? Coral, which looks like this. Very very pretty mix of corally peachy shades. I'm just going to swirl it all over like that and apply it to my cheeks and it just gives me a very nice pop of colour. So that gives you blush, bronzer and highlight all in one. I'm just going to dip the brush in the highlight shade in the corner there. Then I'm going to use the darker shade in the middle there to contour my face. Next 
next I'm going to do my eyes and my eyebrows and I'm going to be using this new palette from Bobbi Brown. This is the Greige, I think that's how it's said, eyeshadow palette and it's a limited edition palette. Very, very pretty with neutral shades. So I'm just going to brush my eyebrows upwards and I'm going to be using that darker shade there on the corner to fill in my eyebrows. Now I'm going to use that brown colour over here, all over the lid. And then just put some of that same shade close to my bottom lash line. Now I'm going to use some of that shimmery shade there. And then to brighten up the eye area with my finger I'm going to use this shade here which is the palest shade and I'm going to put it over the glittery shade. And I'm going to use this shade here to highlight underneath the brow bone. And then layer it over with some of that lighter shimmery shade. Now I'm just going to smudge some black eyeliner on the top and bottom lash line. And then just finish off the eyes with some mascara. And then finally on the lips I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Art Stick in the shade Dusty Pink, which can also be used on the cheeks, so it's a nice multi-purpose product. quite a vibrant shade so it's nice contrast with the makeup because the eyes are quite dark and sultry and then you have a brightening pinky lip shade and as you can see the colour is absolutely beautiful it doesn't bleed around the mouth and it's not drying even though it is matte and I absolutely love how this looks so this is the finished look. I think I look a little bit better than I did at the beginning of the video. I definitely look more awake and that's definitely down to the concealer and the correctors which are brilliant and I recommend everyone checking them out especially if you have dark circles and you struggle with pigmentation. Um, they are really amazing. They make me look so much more awake and they don't crease and they're very very natural looking. It's probably one of the most natural looking concealers and correctors that I've tried. They are suitable for all skin types. Um, make sure to check out the review on my blog as well with all of their details. I should also mention this brush which is incredible and it works really well with the foundation and the concealer and the corrector. I think you'll be very pleased with these products together because they have been designed to work together really well so it gives you a beautiful finish. So in terms of availability the foundation was launched in March so it's already readily available anywhere and everywhere. The concealer and the corrector and the brush are available from the 1st of September until the 16th of September exclusively in John Lewis and you can also book a complimentary makeup lesson in John Lewis which is called the secret to perfect skin and that sounds very very intriguing and very appealing to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you all very soon, bye!